All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahabashai, and who I reverence. And honors to those of you that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved with him these last days. This lesson is going to be called Jehovahshai, right? Has authority of over all these wicked demonic spirits. He controls the demons. He has authority over them. So the brothers that have the spirit of Jehovahshai, you have authority over these demons, right? And you got to move in such a way. Let's go to James. And the demons know who the hopeful elect are. Let's go to J James 3, James 2, right? And 19, thou believest that there is one power. So even the demons believe. Okay. Thou believe there is one power. So the men of the Lord believe. Okay. Thou do as well. The devils also believe. And tremble. So even the demons. They even believe. Right. They even acknowledge you have a shy. Okay. They even acknowledge Jehovahshai. Alright. So now we went to that. Let's go to. And how can we back that up? Let's go to John 8. And. 39. So that 38. I speak which I have seen with my father. And you do which you have seen with your father. So this is when Jehovahshai was speaking. To Israelites. Jews. Okay. Those that were of our nation. Right? And my was Yahweh saying, I have seen what I have seen with my father, Yahweh, who they were calling the most high, who they claim to worship. And you do which you have seen with your father. So he was speaking to them like they were illegitimate <laughs> children. Right? Illegitimate children. Okay, you do that which you have seen with your father. So who was their father he was with um, um referring to? Esau because they were doing the bidding of Esau so you have a said you're just you, you just you're doing what your father does okay they answered and said unto him Abraham is our father you have to say unto them if you were Abraham's children you would do the works of Abraham which was what faith right Abraham was moved through faith not just by the law through faith but now you seek to kill me I might not have told you the truth because our people hate truth. Have I become your enemy because I've told you the truth? Which I've heard of the most high. This not, did not Abraham. You do the deeds of your father. Again, Yahweh was letting them know. When they said. Okay. When they said. They, t they to him. We be not born of fornication. We have one power. Even the most high. Right. So the key thing, when it says we not be no fornication, in other words, what they were saying, no, we're not, we're not, we're not illegitimate children. We come from the same line as you. But they were why? Because you have what the Israelite of what the Most High, and you have those that are just regular Israelites. And Yahweh Shai, it got to the point he wasn't even acknowledging them as Israelites. That's why he said, you're of your father, the devil. So even the devils believe and tremble. They knew who Yahweh was, but they just didn't want to admit it because their position would be taken away. A lot of those, those Pharisees, they knew who Yahweh was. Some of them didn't, most of them did. Because it was written within the law that Yahweh will come on the scene. Okay. Yahweh said unto them, if you were the, if the most high were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came forth. From the most high, I never came of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot my hear my words. Ye of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father will you do. You see, and what does the scripture says? Even the demons what believe and tremble. And the lust of your father will you do. The same workings. He was a murderer from the beginning, going back to Cain. 
Because you've got Israelites that got that same spirit as Cain, right? And they gave up Yahabashai. They were saying, crucify him, crucify him. Right? And abode not in the truth because there was no truth in him. When he's speaking for lies, he's speaking of his own, for he's the liar and the father of it. Right? So them demons, they know who the elect are. They know. Right? And that's why... If you're of the hopeful elect, we like to say hopeful elect, of course you're going to be given a hard time because them same spirits that were giving you hell back then, they're back here again today. Okay. So now we went into that. Let's go. Let's see how Yahabashai dealt with these wicked demonic spirits. Before we go to that as well. Actually, we shut off on Luke 4 and 40. Before we go to that, check this out. Okay, you know, we might as well get that right now. Let's go to Luke 44 and 40. Now, when the sun was setting, all that they had any sick, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And the devils also came out of many, crying out, saying, Thou art Mashiach, the Son of the Most High, Yahabashai, and he rebuking them, suffered them. Not to speak. Why? Because he had authority. <laughs> he had authority over them. Right? For they knew that he was the anointed. I was going to say Christ here, but it's the anointed Mashiach. So them spirits knew who Yahushua was. Why do you think they were crying out? <laughs> okay. And they were saying, Thou art Mashiach, the Son of the Most High. So even them demons acknowledge who the men of the Lord are. And when it was day, the part and they went to a desert place and the people sought him and he came unto them and stayed him that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of the Most High to other cities also. And even Yahushua was what traveling. Right? So it may be a time when you're preaching in a particular town city, you may move on. Move from city to city, for therefore I am sent. And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. Let's carry on this topic. So now we're going to go to... Because I want to get this out quickly before my battery runs out. So let's go to Isaiah 44 and 25. Make sure I got this in the right order. We've got Ezekiel 13. I think it's better to go to Ezekiel 13. And I want to show you an image. It's a bit a bit disturbing. It shouldn't frighten you. Why? Because guess what? Yahabashai controls these wicked spirits. But it's a bit of an image. I'm going to show you soon. Okay. Isaiah 13. And the word of the Lord Yahabashai came. Okay. And you've always had false prophets. Okay. Saying, son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel. That prophesy. And say, the one to them that prophesy out of their own hearts. So you've got men, they prophesy out of their own hearts, out of their own vain minds. Hear ye the word of the Lord, you have a shy, thou saith the Lord power. Woe unto their foolish prophets, unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. So you got men, they ain't seen nothing. They're just making up lies. <laughs> Satan gave them that, that lie and they're running with it. Oh, Israel, thy prophets are like foxes in the deserts. Okay. You have not gone up into the gaps. Neither made an upper hedge for the house of Israel. Where the gaps, right? It'd be classed as what? The highways and byways, right? To stand in the battle in the day of the Lord, you have they have seen vanity, lying divination, saying, so there's a lot of vanity and there's a lot of what? Lying divination that's going on right now. At this moment, at this present moment, there's a lot of lying divination. These men haven't seen anything. Satan gave him that them lying divinations. Why? Because the deceived and the deceiver are his. Saying the Lord Yahweh shall say, if the Lord have not sent them, they have made others to hope that he would confirm the word. Have you not seen a vain vision? Have you not spoken a lying divination? So you've got men, they're prophesying what lying divinations on the left hand side. Whereas you say the Lord Yahweh shall say if it, how about I have not spoken? 
Therefore, doth save the Lord power because you have spoken vanity and seen lies. Because what falsehood, that's what the false prophets delight in, falsehood. Therefore, behold, I am against you. So Yahweh is against a lot of men that claim to be prophets. And my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity. That's why you got all these men coming out. Oh, I had this, I had this vision, I had this testimony. Some of them may be right, but you've got a lot of men, they have testimonies on the left hand side. And divine and at divine lights, they shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the house of Israel, neither shall they enter the land of Israel. You shall know that I am the Lord power. Right? And there's more when you go further down, there's more. So you got men, they were divine on the left hand side, summoning spirits. And the people that do that, that summon these spirits, what ends up happening? They end, they end up being tormented by these spirits, these left-hand-sided spirits, right? And the men do this because they don't have fear and basically because the Havashai is not dealing with them, right? They conjure up spirits and that's why their face looks like what you see in this image, right? What you see in this image. Your face looks dry, it looks like something out of what Scream, that movie Scream. Your face looks dry, your eyes look black, right? You look like a rubber, your skin looks like rubber, dry rubber. That's what happens when you go into that left hand side and you mess with them spirits. Lord, jack you up and have people seeing it. <laughs> 12 of 6 and 12. A naughty person, a wicked man walking with a froward mouth, a corrupt mouth. What? forward deception he winketh with his eyes he speaketh with his feet he teacheth with his fingers why okay because he's trying to what use them what jedi mind tricks on you but the jedi mind tricks will not work on the elect isaiah 44 and 25 we're going to shut off okay hold on a minute that make void the tokens let's go to this first Go to Isaiah 44 and 25. That frustrateth the tokens of the liars. So who's doing that? Yahweh Shai. <laughs> He's frustrating the signs of what? Liars. Right? And maketh diviners mad. Because you've got individuals. They go into these diviners. But the diviners, they just... It's not working like it used to. Like back in the day, maybe that used to work. But they're running out of ideas. And that turneth wise men backward. And make their knowledge foolish. So that's exactly what Yahweh is doing. When you go into the new translation. It says who follows the signs of false prophets. Follows it. Puts it to naught. Okay. So you have false prophets that have signs. And make fools of diviners. So that's what Yahweh is doing. Making fools of these diviners that have not seen anything on the right hand side. And that true divine is through what? The Holy Spirit. That's real divine. Not on the left hand side, that's wicked. The knowledge of evil is what? It's not it's not wise. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. And who confounds the wise and turns their knowledge into nonsense. So that's exactly what Yahweh is doing. Right? So with this lesson, I hope this is edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.